Today, I would like to actually discuss uh, two common frameworks uh, about business metrics, okay? Two common frameworks that is used to think about business metric. I mean, the thing about business metric is that every business is different and so it is difficult to come up with, you know, a rule that works with every business. However, frameworks actually help us all think about you know our situation and actually modify it for our use case and so today i'm going to share two broad frameworks okay now first of all if you think about it every business is either buying or selling products or services right so at the end of the day it comes down to products or services that business are what selling or are buying and of course the exchange of money so there is some revenue and cost component of it right so at a very high level every business is really about product that is being sold so product is part customer is part because every business must bring customers every business must sell their product or services every business must maintain or retain their customers so there are some metrics that are broadly used in every every business okay so anyway the first framework that i'm discussing with you i'm sure most of you might know about this already is the google's heart framework now heart is an acronym okay the h here means happiness so what it talks about is usually when people use your product or buy their product are they happy with it you know are they really happy with it do they enjoy using their your product so you can create a metric around the happiness about your product when customers are using it so that is what the h is now the next one is e which is engagement so how are users engaged with your product even if it's a clothing that you are selling how are they engaged with that online or in your store so engagement so engagement could be measured with things like you know how uh, you know uh, what is the amount of time they spend looking at something you know how many people actually click on something those are all what engagement okay so that is the e uh, and then the next one uh, of the heart framework is a which is adoption okay are they actually adopting your product out of your target customer base what percent of them are actually using your product so that's the a component of the heart and that is adoption and then the next one r is retention okay how many people actually come back to use your product over and over again how many active users of your product do you have okay that is the retention component and then the final part is task success right how many people are actually successfully uh, getting to do the task that your product is made for okay so the google's heart framework uh, has been around for a very long time and it can help you as a product manager or as a businessman think about what are some of the things you want to measure okay in fact it is very easy to look at this google's framework in a grid form so let's take a look at that here you have the five components of the heart framework uh, in your rows and then you have some of the goals of each of these components the signals of that and the metric or some example metrics for this okay so here is an empty uh, grid that you can fill based on your own business goal okay and then come up with a signal that you can use to measure it and some example metric i think it will make sense when i show you some example from google's own research paper in this example you have happiness and the goal of happiness of course is like you know customers finding this app to be useful and the signals to measure that includes things like either they're responding to your survey either they're leaving five star reviews for you or they're leaving positive feedback and some of the metrics in this case could be net promoter score customer satisfaction number of five star ratings all of those are the happiness type of metric okay now talking about engagement you can have things like you know how do they find the app uh, you know are they actually coming back to use it so things like return users uh, you know could be something that you think about and that engagement right but the signal here is 
how often are they using it you can look at metrics like average number of sessions uh, frequency of return you can think about number of action that they are taking in the app okay that is for engagement and for adoption of course it's very obvious uh, understanding how many people are actually adopting your product so you can look at number of downloads uh, you can look at number of registrations you know feature adoption rate those could be and then retention is you know customers keep coming to use the app okay so chain rate is of course the opposite of what retention so chain rate is a, is a good one to measure under retention or even renewal rate and finally task success customers complete the task or not is, is the question you want to answer under this uh, you know and some of the ways that you can measure this uh, includes uh, you know looking at the bounce rate or exit rate or you know the time in app or even crash rate so this is the heart of the google heart framework but guess what this is purely product focus so you didn't see a lot of things so you might be wondering will this apply to me well if you're not a product person you can still apply this whether you're a sales person you're selling the product whatever you are doing is a product you are working in a bank your service can be thought about as a product and you can think about are customers happy with my service okay if customers come to the store or they come to the bank and, and i'm offering them a service are they happy with it at the end of the day everything comes to what a product however this framework clearly means some things right you, you don't you don't see anything about revenue you don't see anything about financial in this so i'm going to talk about another framework that tries to you know bring some idea of revenue into the framework the second framework of thinking about metrics that i'm discussing today is called the pirate metric framework this framework was developed by Dave McClare, who is known as a very serial entrepreneur. Okay, now his metric framework is called Pirate because of the acronym. Okay, it is basically A A R R R, and A is acquisition, the other A is activation, then you have the first R as retention the second R as referral and then the final R as revenue so of course that includes some financial components so acquisition is mostly about how many customers are actually coming to you how many customers are seeing value in your product or whatever you are selling and actually uh, buying them so that is acquisition okay activation is how many customers are actually signing up and actually using the product so acquisition is like bringing in the customers right how many people are adopting it but activation is actually using it in fact this makes sense in a very clean funnel type uh, you know of business which I will I will show you shortly and then retention of course we explained that in the previous video referral is a very important one look if people like your product they tend to actually what refer their family and friends to it so if you are measuring referral you are actually also measuring how good your product is it's almost like the customer satisfaction but even at a higher level okay and then finally revenue revenue is very important because in the in the other google's hard framework we didn't talk about revenue but revenue here is really a representation of any business metric so it can be revenue it can be cost it can be you know margin basically this is another framework that you can think of when you are thinking of what your business metric okay now let's look at an example of the pirate metric in action here is an example of the pirate method in action you can see acquisition here is like number of visitors to your website so this example is purely for an e-commerce business okay again you can adopt this everywhere but think about an e-commerce business in this example right acquisition could be the number of website visitors that come here maybe there are there are you know hundred thousand of them uh, and then you have activation number of customers who made a purchase they activated right and maybe that's like five thousand in that case your activation rate become what five percent okay retention uh you know how many customers uh who came to your site actually are return visitors so you know you could have 
return visitors or you can even have what return purchases right so retention is a concept you can apply it in many cases so you know you can see some volume numbers here and you can see some rate numbers here again these are just examples and then of course you have referral how many people uh, from your visitors are truly referring or how many people who purchase your product are referring it to their family and friends okay and then finally you have the revenue so in this particular e-commerce example revenue can be customer lifetime value okay it could be you know a number of purchases they made or the, the value of the purchases they made so again this is just an example so today i have discussed with you two common frameworks of thinking about metrics like i said every metric is every business is different and the type of metric that you use depend on your on your business but at the end of the day you think about the goals you are trying to achieve think about how you're achieving them and use that to to actually uh, come up with what ways uh, of thinking through your business but if you work in products or you work in e-commerce usually some of these metrics are useful you could continue other types of metric like sales per customer uh, you know gross margin uh, you know incremental rate you know response rate uh, you know there are thousands and thousands of metrics and the way to do about this is like think about your business problem and actually understand what you're measuring why do you exist uh, what are some of the things some of the values that you provide what is your value proposition and all of those things will help you uh, get a good metric i hope this is helpful we will talk later bye